In the early 2000s, Griffith High School finished one of the best wrestling seasons in state history, finishing 39-1 and bringing home four individual state championships. Now, in 2015, after a period of turmoil, Griffith is returning to its former glory. This is their story. Welcome to Griffith, a small blue-collar town in northwest Indiana. At the local high school, Coach Dan Badoy is preparing his wrestlers for another meet. Uh, the expectations are set high. Um, they had a nice golden era uh, back in the early 2000s. I know it's a tall task to get the program back to that, those heights, but that, that's the plan. I think it's a mindset, you know, it's belief. Uh, you gotta really believe that you can do it, and then you have to work for it. You can't uh, sit and think that, you know, just because the guy is a good sprawl or just because the guy is really good on top that you're not able to stand up or that you're not able to finish your shots. You just have to have the persistence, I'd say, that in your mind that you can do really anything that you believe on the mat. One guy is going, all right? One minute is hard as you can go. Your favorite takedown. You got to really believe in what the coaches are saying, buy into everything. You gotta give 100% at practice, that's for sure. It'd be nice to have Jeremiah repeat uh, as state champion. Then I'd like to get uh, some of these other guys down there uh, to the state tournament. Jeremiah Reitz, a sophomore, is Griffith's returning state champion. On January 10th, Reitz lost his first match of the season to Hobart's Brendan Black. Uh, went into the match, I didn't know, I was expecting it was gonna be tough, and he got the best of me in that match. I finished harder and stayed stronger the whole match, and that went up in the same outcome. Tonight, Reitz has a chance at revenge, just four days after his first match with Black. See, I know I have to be mentally stronger. I know that I need, I'm gonna have to push myself. Just kinda like process the match in your mind and in your head. And mentally weak kids always break and leave. You know, wrestling's always just been, you know, kinda just part of my identity, just part of who I am. One state title in this town is it, it's nothing compared to what the other guys have done. You never settle for anything less than what you've wanted to achieve since you're three years old. Wrestling is base, is definitely the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. Let it see where it can take you because it's definitely made a huge impact on my life. It's a lifestyle, honestly. As of right now, it's my life. Like, it's all I do. You need to be uh, real resilient. When you get down, you have to be able to pop right back up, like literally and metaphorically. 